Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big old shout out and welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining the family. You're, you're so welcome here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you that are returning, what is up, squad? So welcome to your readings for November 2019. A big shout out goes out to those Scorpios. Yeah, very happy birthday to the Scorpios. And also a very happy birthday to the November Sagittarians, yes? Can you guys believe that we are almost done with 2019? Like, this is a little bit crazy. We are getting into 2020 soon. That is super exciting. I hope you guys have had a really great year so far, but we're not quite there yet. So. These are your messages for the month of November. Please keep in mind that these readings are general. Yes, these messages are general. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information, including my email address and the readings that I offer, uh, their prices and a description of those readings are found in the description box below. Yes. For those of you that are new to my channel, what I will be doing in this monthly reading is what I call the freestyle or general freestyle reading. Yeah. If you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you start with that one as that is really quite a one size fits all type of reading. We could really get you some really awesome information, uh, very clarity into a look on what's going on, whatever question or situation you are interested in gaining greater clarity on. Yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, please understand that number one, I am not a fortune teller. Okay. So what I'm doing here, what my goal is to give you guys is to get a look into the energy surrounding you right now and to give you guys a clearer understanding of what those energies are so that you can make a, a decision that is best for yourself moving forward in your life. Yes. Again, please keep in mind that these readings are general and I'm going to, for the most part, I'm going to be talking to the uh, sun sign or star sign. I should say star sign because it's not just your sun sign. This is sun, moon, rising and Venus, but I'm going to be talking to the sign that's in question, mostly looking at it from their point of view. So if you're a cross watcher, keep that in mind. But also if I'm speaking to this, and you're uh, speaking to this point from the point of view that you're the, the sign that you're looking at because it's the sign that is in your chart, but it's not resonating as you're the person that should be spoken to here. Maybe you're the person on the other side of the equation, then please take it as it resonates. Yes. Okay. Um, also keep in mind that just because these are monthly readings, like they're dated for the month of November, it doesn't mean it has to resonate for the month of November of 2019. All the readings on my, on my channel are meant to be timeless. Also keep in mind that this is general. All right. We're, so we're talking about anything that spirit wants to bring forward to you or wants to bring to your attention. This is not love career or, or, or sp specific like that in any sort of way. Although career may come up or career may resonate for you or love may come up and that may resonate for you too. Okay. But this is just an over open-ended overall look at the energies in your life. Yeah. I would absolutely love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. I am on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. And I do like to go live just about every once in a week to do a, uh, a collective check-in energy check-in for the Insta fam. So if you're not following me there, please, I highly recommend that you do so. Let's connect on social media. I'm also on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations. Now here's the thing about it. First of all, all, both of those links are in the description box below, but um, if you would like to get a reading with me, I highly recommend that you just email me or at the very least you can message me on Instagram. But even if you do that, I'll just be directing you to email. Uh, Facebook is not the best option to connect with me, to send a message to me or something like that, or even to try and book a reading mainly because it's not always reliable in notification, uh, as to when I get messages on Facebook. Um, and I don't always remember to check it all that frequently. So you run the risk of either completely me, completely missing your message or getting back to you at a really later, t really late time. So if you would like to, please, if you can go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and all that and connect with me there. But if you would like to get a reading from me, or if you would like to contact me in some way, email or at the very least, very least Instagram is your best way of doing that. Yes. Um, so for the readings for this month, I'm keeping with my normal and I'm using the golden universal tarot for our tarot spread and then keeping with the fall atmosphere, the fall feel, 
I'm going to be pulling Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. I love this deck and it's so awesome. And it's been really, really spot on for this month. It was really spot on for last month as well. I'm really super excited for you guys to see these readings because I feel like overall they're really, really great messages, okay? So with that said, let's get to it. Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for tw November 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into it. Um, I have your pre-shuffle energies here. And I ended up doing, like, pulling twice for your pre-shuffle. The first cards that came out for your pre-shuffle were the King of Wands and the Ten of Wands. And then at the bottom of the deck was the Empress, okay? And it's so crazy because the way that the, the cards came out, the King of Wands fell out first and then the Ten of Wands fell out too. But as it came out of the deck, it like flipped and like turned, flipped in the air a few times and then landed and it landed face down. I thought it landed reversed, but then when I turned it over, it was upright, okay? Um, I feel like someone, someone is persevering despite a bunch of burdens that they're carrying. And with the Empress card that was underneath the deck originally, uh, I was feeling like someone was, was, was um, either, is either tapping into the abundance that the universe has to offer them in terms of getting somewhere that they know that they want to go and yet still having all these burdens that they're carrying that could be keeping them, hindering them, keeping them from really moving forward at the speed or the pace that they may want to or moving forward at all. Um, I was also picking up that somebody may be wanting to approach a feminine or a divine feminine, someone that is that embodies that empress energy. This would be a masculine energy coming forward, wanting to <laughs> make an offer of some sort or a pursue uh, a feminine counterpart, someone that would embody that Empress energy. But I wasn't too clear on what that was, so, in, so I decided to just get another pull going. And the second round of the pull produced the King of Cups now and the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which you can see there. So there is definitely an energy of someone being maybe emotionally mature or what I heard specifically was emotionally aware, recognizing who their counterpart is, wanting to make some sort of move, wanting to make some sort of gesture, loving themselves enough to want to extend an offer of love to whomever this other person is that was represented by the Empress. And yet um, there are still these burdens here that may be holding this person back. And this may be a situation in which this person would need to remove these burdens or release these burdens from their lives before they could even approach this Empress energy or make an offer towards this Empress energy. And they actually may be very well aware of that, is what I'm hearing. Now, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo Virgo Cusper. You could be a Leo Virgo Cusper. Um, you could also be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart somehow. This also could be influenced by Scorpio season that we're in right now. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I'm getting for that. Let's look, let's move forward and see what else we have for you, Virgo, in your month of November or just the message for this time period for you regardless of whether it actually resonates for November or not. Yes? Whoop, whoop, whoop. We have the magician. Someone is manifesting their way out of some sort of burdens, out of some sort of trouble, out of some sort of obligations they may be finding themselves in. Someone may be trying to manifest an opportunity of some sort in some way. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what else we've got for you, Leo. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for this month of November, 2019. 
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo, I'm going to give this five shuffles. Um, as I do that, though, I really want to I want to mention that um, I'm hearing Leo a lot. So some of you might be dealing with a Leo. Someone may some of you may have Leo in your chart somehow in a significant placement. You might want to check what house Leo is in for you. Um, um, also. Yeah, you could be a Leo Virgo Cusper. You could have Leo somewhere placed in your chart pretty significantly. It could be your moon or rising sign. Um, but I'm hearing that you might want to check. So because of that, you might want to check out the Leo reading. Okay, it might really resonate with you. And actually, to be honest, this is shuffle number two. From what I'm picking up already, just from the pre-shuffle energies, there is a similarity in between the readings so far. We'll see where else Virgo takes us, but we'll see. This is three. Four, for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. And five, for my Virgos. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Let's cut the deck. Boop. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Overall energy, the Seven of Wands. Woof. Boundaries boundaries um and virgo this makes perfect sense uh virgo is a mutable sign virgo is very much about being of service to others helping others being that caregiver being that nurturer the the, the protector even somewhat of a provider depending on your circumstances um and i'm feeling like here yeah some of you virgos really need to watch that leo leo reading because this is already resonating with that they're very similar energies but what i'm picking up here very specifically virgo is that there are some boundaries that you need to mm, reinforce is one thing i heard also i heard put in place and that could be put in place altogether where there may not be adequate boundaries at all right uh, I'm getting an energy. I'm getting a message that you are a actively learning a lesson in this at this time period. You've got the four of wands, so this absolutely could have everything to do with your home life. Absolutely could have everything to do with your home life. Yeah, underneath the four of wands. Okay, well look at that. You've got that ten of wands again, and finally. The Six of Pentacles, because the situation is not balanced at all. Reciprocity, give and take. There is a lack of it, Virgo, and this is why you are needing to put greater boundaries in place. Wow, that is simple and straightforward. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Getting into the first half, second half of your reading here, you could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Take it as it resonates. First set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the first half of your reading. You've got the Five of Swords. Well, there you go. There's that conflict. There's also some backstabbing, some sabotage. This absolutely could represent self-sabotage here in terms of not having adequate boundaries. But again, like I said, you're 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 deep in a lesson of this right now. So this is it's not this is not this is not saying, you know, beat yourself up, you know, get mad at yourself. Absolutely not. It's really just about learning the lesson involved with this and making sure you have adequate defenses. That's really literally what I just heard. Five of Swords is coupled with, yeah, someone is taking advantage of you. Five of Swords. Someone is taking advantage of you and or somebody here. Um, and it's to their detriment too. Don't get me wrong, because like, shoo, what goes around comes around, okay? And they're gonna have, and, and, and to be quite honest, I feel like this person, whomever is taking advantage, or maybe this group of people, whomever is being, whomever is the aggressor here, all right? Who is the offender here, who is doing, who is acting in ways that is taking advantage of someone else, they're hiding from something. They're deceiving themselves in some way. They are refusing to face something, some element about their lives and they're basically taking it out on you or leaving the burden on your shoulders, Virgo, in order to uh, make themselves feel better, help themselves feel secure, whatnot, whatever, keep themselves in this illusionary energy of not facing whatever it is they need to face. Now, granted, this could be you also, vice versa. So this could be an external, so if you have somebody in your life right now that is is taking advantage of you in some way, this actually could be an external reflection of some sort of internal reality surrounding 
um, inadequacy, uh, feelings of inadequacy or, or being taken advantage of or not feeling good enough. So needing to have someone there to like validate you when in turn you really need to be validating your own self. Okay. I, I really want to point that out there because I want people to start, I want to help people start recognizing and realizing that the elements that they express, that they experience in their physical reality is, has a direct reflection or a direct correlation to something that they're holding on to internally. All right. So this is, so you may be in a victim mode right now where someone may be in the process of taking advantage of you, but this does reflect some sort of internal reality. It's not all just that person that needs to quote, take the blame. And I don't even want to, I don't want to be throwing blame here, but th th this is, this is, this is what I'm, <laughs> this is what I'm picking up on. Okay. The five of swords is coupled with the 10 of pentacles. This is an opportunity to put this situation to rest. This also can represent family, Ten of Pentacles, and your home life. Uh, some sort of long-standing relationship, some sort of long-standing circumstance. I am getting very strong family ties for some of you out there. Um, and family, definitely. People that are our blood relatives or people that we have accepted into our lives as uh, you know, a member of our family or our extended family usually are the people that will take advantage of you first and the most, and maybe even the most aggressively, yes? But with this 10 of pentacles, also in my opinion as a reader, representing a lesson learned, you absolutely have an opportunity, especially with these two tens here, you have an opportunity to put this type of cycle to rest, okay? And placing better boundaries in life or, or, or surrounding yourself, yes? Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, you have ooh, that queen of swords, Libra energy. Yes, you know who you are, Libra or having Libra. Um, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, but this is absolutely cutting the bullshit, cutting the shit. It's like, look, this is not this is not good. This is not good. It is not balanced. We need to make a change now. There is no if, ands, or buts. I'm not trying to have a discussion about it. I'm not trying to have an argument about it. We're not discussing it any more further than this right here. This needs to be changed. We need to bring balance into the situation. No if, ands, or buts about it. The queen has spoken. <laughs> queen of swords is coupled with the ace of wands. See, uh, okay, so I feel like whomever here is in, in uh, who is being taken advantage of, we'll say, um, has the idea or has the wisdom, the knowledge, or the, the, the inspiration to cut this out, to stop this from happening, all right? So if you're feeling this inspiration to move in this, yeah, new, move in this new direction, by all means, please take it upon yourself to do so. Now, don't, don't, don't be so queen of swordsy that you're like chopping people's heads off just willy-nilly just because it's fun or because you're getting revenge or you feel like it, no. We're, the Queen of Swords here is purely to bring balance to the situation. And you could, I guess you could say the diplomacy of the situation has already been handled, right? So that's why the Queen of Swords is coming through in doling out whatever is going to be necessary to bring in the balance. I hope that makes sense. Because I don't want to leave diplomacy completely out of the window, but it kind of feels like at this point, we are past any sort of, we're past diplomacy at this point. Something really needs to be balanced and we need to be balanced, it, it needs to be balanced now. We don't have time to discuss it. We don't have time to deliberate. We don't have time to go and, and have the committee, you know, go through their whole process. No, fuck that. We're bringing balance in and we're bringing it now. <laughs> okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. Uh, boredom. And I really do feel like this is a, this is, this is represented by the, this is representing the person that is here doing this and doing this, taking advantage in some cases. In other cases, this is the person being taken advantage of. All right. So, so, well, to be quite honest, I feel like it might be both of you. The person that's doing the taking advantage of in this, that, that's being the, the, the taker here, 
um, is refusing some sort of offer to like get up on their feet, get back up on their feet in some cases, or just make some sort of change in their lives or take some sort of control for themselves in their lives in some way. But then you, Virgo, or whomever is being taken advantage of, right, is almost in this energy of refusing, maybe not refusing, but having difficulty taking this 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 time to love yourself to serve yourself to to bring greater balance into your life there's been and it might have been this actually might be a past energy this could be the energy for whomever is being taken advantage of here this could be the energy that has led you to this situation altogether and i'm getting specifically that there is some sort of work that you may have slacked on or chosen not to do some maybe some sort of vetting process uh, for some of you or um just maybe some internal work to build yourself up so that you do have a more stable f foundation when it comes to the emotions because the four a four represents stability it's almost as if instead of finding internal validation which I am seeing is what the 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 the, the fifth I'm sorry this fourth cup um, is being handed is you know being handed to this person from the cloud. You can see this as the Ace of Cups, right? Uh, which is a cup of self love uh, and all that good stuff. There is a sense of internal validation that someone was kind of like, yeah, I don't want to work towards that. I just want to keep sticking with my external validation. Well, doing that has led you here, hasn't it? But please understand, I'm not trying to pass judgment on you because ultimately this is a good thing. Why? You're learning the necessity for internal validation and strong personal boundaries. That's the long and short of it. No judgment here. No like, oh, how dare you? Ugh, you're gross. Grow up. No, none of that. None of that. Just, just learn the lesson and do better for yourself in the future, right? Four of Cups is coupled with the page of wands, self-discovery, self-understanding. I mean, yes, this is the challenge, but ultimately this challenge has led you to understand yourself deeper. And what I'm getting specifically with this page of wands is understanding what your needs are on a much greater scale. This has helped you to learn about yourself on a much deeper level. Now, this is nowhere near the depth or the magnitude that would be represented by, say, the Hermit, which I do see the Page of Wands as a minor arcana version of the Hermit. The Page of Wands, in terms of this self-discovery, is much more surface level than maybe the, the, the Hermit would be, but still. And the Hermit is your card, Virgo, okay? Um, but that's what I'm seeing here with this challenge. And I do feel like you're surmounting it, especially with the, with the Hermit, I'm well, not the Hermit, the Page of Wands coming out here. I do feel like you're you're coming to this understanding, even by default. So it does it does kind of feel like you kind of the universe was trying to hand you this cup and saying, love yourself, honor yourself, you know, like create your own validation, validate yourself. And you're kind of like, nah, I don't really want to. That's too hard. And the universe was like, all right, cool. So let me do. OK, here you go. Now you're faced with having to learn this lesson or faced with having to see yourself in a more authentic light. You see how the universe works? You could even call this kind of a mini tower moment. We'll see if the tower comes out. It might, but you never know. Closing message or potential outcome here, Virgo, in the first half of your reading, you've got the page of swords now. Oh, are you watching somebody? Keeping tabs on someone? Is someone keeping tabs on you? Potentially, maybe. I don't know. I, I get a little bit of a sinister energy with this Page of Swords here, Virgo. This, um, this feels like petty and childish communication, to be quite honest. And I feel like this is an energy of someone walking all over you or you allowing somebody to walk all over you in some way or someone allowing someone else to just be childish here. Strange. Page of Swords is coupled with the Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody's playing mind games, Virgo. I'm not going to lie. Somebody's playing mind games with you 
Or maybe you're playing mind games with someone else. And it's all because, yeah, there is a strong sense of narcissism going on here. It's all because whomever it is, is be oh yes, whomever it is is being taken advantage of, is, um, is confused, doesn't know what to do, doesn't know what options they have around them, blah, 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 and someone is preying on that. It's I, I, like I'm feeling like an energy of gaslighting here. Gaslighting, maybe even a little bit of scapegoating with this Page of Swords, Seven of Cups. Balance needs to be brought into this situation, Virgo. Oof. Okay. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you have... Ah, there's that Ace of Cups again, right? Because doesn't the Ace of Cups come out in the pre-shuffle? Yep, sure did. Mm -mm. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So I do, I, this is keeping with what came through. And I was actually just thinking about that pre-shuffle energy. There is somebody that it feels like somebody wants to make some sort of offer, romantic gesture. And they're struggling to do so. They need to put some sort of boundaries in place in order to do it. They need to bring some sort of a balance into their lives in order to do so. Um, but then also this Ace of Cups energy is representing that self-love that the universe was trying to hand you in this Four of Cups energy, right? Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady progress towards that self-love, okay? Slow and steady wins the race here. You got to put, you got to build this foundation brick by brick, right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Virgo, you have... Oh, there's the Empress again. Aww. I really feel like you're very abundant right now. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in your own abundance. And oddly enough, I'm getting a very, a very independent energy here. It's almost as if I feel like, Virgo, you need to be spending some time on your own. Even though there may be some of you out there that may want to make a romantic gesture towards someone, and then and in that case, I am speaking to the masculine that wants to make a romantic gesture to some sort of feminine energy. I still feel like whatever burdens you're dealing with here, especially if they're in terms of family, in... in, in in, the effort, in an effort to bring balance to your situation, I feel like you need to give your, some, yourself some time to love and nurture yourself unconditionally, just with yourself. Like, you need a hot minute for you, <laughs> okay? The Empress is coupled with the Three of Wands. Waiting for a return on an investment, being on the right path. It is in loving yourself, nurturing yourself unconditionally the way the Empress would, right? And, that, and the Empress represents unconditional love. Um, that is what's going to help your ships to come in. If you want what is truly for you to come towards you, then you have to love yourself enough to allow the space for it. Okay? That's really interesting, Virgo. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, the three of pentacles, working on yourself, self-mastery. You definitely need some time, Virgo. I understand that some of you want to make some sort of gesture. Someone wants to move forward, all right? Someone may even want someone to come forward. However, it is imperative that you take this time to yourself Virgo, to work on your sense of self-mastery, to work on your own personal foundation for yourself. You can't hope to build a foundation with somebody else if you don't have your own solid foundation first, independently, okay? Otherwise, it's just going to become a codependent situation, and that's just going to get messy and undesirable, okay? Beautiful, though. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Cups now. Hey now, celebration, union, body, mind, and spirit. You have got to take this time to work on coming into union with the self, Virgo. It's imperative, okay? 
If you've got a if you've got a counterpart out there that you know that you're aware of, that you know of, that you're aware of, I mean, look, he or she loves you. That's great and all, but you, it is, this is not the time to rush. Okay, you have got to take the time for yourself first, especially if you're coming out of a really messy, strong family dynamic that has been burdening you for. I just heard centuries. Whoa! Okay. But if that's the case, I mean, and even if you don't believe in, in reincarnation or, or anything like that, uh, if you have a dynamic here that has been extremely burdensome for maybe the duration of your life or just an extended period amount of time in your life, then you really need to take this time to allow yourself to, to filter out that energy. To really come back to the purity or the the, the 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 purity of your essence, basically, you know, to clean it, to clear out your energy and to clear out the space that whatever these burdens are for you have been occupying all this time, you know. Don't rush into a marriage. Don't rush into a new relationship just because you're now free from it. Trust me, I can speak from experience. That shit does not work. <laughs> okay, it's only you're only going to leave yourself open to recreate the dynamics or the situation that you had in the past that you're coming out of. You need to give yourself some time to rest, recuperate, and come back to whole a sense of wholeness within. Maybe even a sense of wholeness that you may have never really understood or experienced before. Right. This is imperative. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Virgo. You have, ah, there you go, the six of wands. Look, let me tell you something, Virgo. Some of you really need to watch that Leo reading because Leo's reading and ended on the same card in the same position. The six of wands. Victory is at hand. Six of wands is coupled with. Woo! The Eight of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and call that a jailbreak, y'all. Jailbreak. Hello. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Yes? You're becoming free, Virgo. We have been talking about this for the last, gosh, I want to say six to eight months even. And I'm only really consciously remembering maybe about three months ago. But Spirit is saying this is like, this has been an ongoing, continuing circumstance or a continuing conversation for Virgo specifically on my channel for, at the, for I want to say, Spirit is saying for the last six to eight months. And yes, this is a long and arduous process. You basically have to undo the ties to these other people or these other circumstances or what are situation, <laughs> situation ships, if you will. <laughs> mm. All right, Virgo, but there you go. It, it's coming. You're breaking free. Jailbreak. Hello. Okay. Let's get your oracle guidance here, Virgo. Last shuffle. Form of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of November 2019. <laughs> Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Ooh, there you go. Right there. What you got? Ooh, card number three, sorceress. Rituals, power, will. Mm-hmm, I know that's right. Okay. It is time for you to act, to gather together your wisdom in an organized and structured manner and create a moment of power. This could mean a ritual to recognize the beginning of a new stage of the life cycle. Similarly, it could mean setting up an important meeting, ensuring you are correctly prepared and giving your very best throughout the opportunity before you. Gather together your energy, plan your strategy, strategy and set your goals. Choose your time and choose your tools and meet with all the power you can gather. Before this meeting, whisper to yourself of your goals and your powers. Be sure to fill yourself up with strength and conviction. Raise your head high, straighten your back, set your shoulders, and do not allow any doubt to creep in at this time. Do your homework, be very prepared, and then when the moment comes, let all this energy and power and self-belief flow out into a very, I'm sorry, in a very smooth manner. This will help you through a job interview, in, 
a case that needs to be made, a gathering together allies and others who believe in you. I'm sorry, let me, let me read that sentence again. This will help you throughout a job interview, a case that needs to be made, and gathering together allies and others who believe in you. It will also counteract any kind of self-doubt, negativity, or jealousy that may have been impeding your progress until this point. Every ritual of self-empowerment will be divinely blessed at this time. You must work at bringing, your pow bringing back your own power, at harnessing your strong and potent will, which has, until this time, been neglected and underestimated. You are a being of power and commitment. Let us see what you can do when you believe in yourself at last. There you have it, Virgo. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of December. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.